What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are back on the crew and today we're going to go ahead and drive the Fugu Z. Now, if you don't know what that is, I should probably link you to something in the description. So if you don't know what it is, I will explain it, but if you're really interested, I'll link you a video in the description. If you got, if you know that guy from Fast and Furious, the one that played Han, he basically went ahead and created this sick um, uh, Fair Lady Z or 240Z. And it's, he called it the Fugu Z basically, and, and that's really all there is to it. Now, I tried to recreate it in the crew, and I think I did a quite a good job. Um, there's a few things here and there which aren't the same. Um, but I kind of got that crystal white, you know, you've got the fenders as well as the uh, the rims. Obviously, there's no rocket burning kit or anything like that because we're playing the crew. Uh, but I thought I'd recreate some on the crew because we haven't really done this in a while. So, um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and do some races, some PvP races, and see what this car's like, as well as talk about the game for a bit because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so now we are in the PvP lobby. So, we're going to go ahead and obviously pick a perf race, otherwise, well, I, I, can't, I can't use my car. <laughs> I, I didn't really think about that shit. <laughs> I was just thinking, yeah, we've got a, th a three and four chance that we're actually going to use the Fugu Z. Hopefully we do, because that's what I was planning the video to be about. So if, if we don't, then that's kind of, it's kind of ruined my plan, really. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Pete. It's not going to be. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Just, we were one away from the circuit race. Okay. So that means we are now doing my race, I believe, actually. So we're going to go ahead and pick the Fugu Z. And we will get straight into this race. Just look at the rain. Just look at the rain. It looks gorgeous, as you come to expect, um, with obviously the the crew's wild run expansion. Now, I do want to make a bit a bit of a disclaimer. I'm obviously in the crew. It's not going to be completely perfect, just like it wouldn't be perfect in Need for Speed. But um, you know, I tried to do my best recreating the car, and I think I did a pretty good goddamn job. I believe this car actually won a few awards at SEMA as well, which is pretty goddamn awesome. Anyway, we're going to see if we can win this race. Now, I, I should give a pre-warning. This thing loves to drift. Um, I'm not sure what it is. You kind of got to tame it ever so slightly. Um, but it's it's very hard to control through the corners if, if you get it wrong. I completely forgot collisions were off. Oh my god, I've lost it. I've lost it. Look at it. The wheel spin. Oh my god, it was stuck at 20. Okay, we're going to have a nice little entry into this brake. Slide, slide, it's it's raining, I'm not sure if that has any effect. Oh, look at that drift though. And it's it's perf spec. It's a, oh, I'm not sure if this car's got a drift spec, but if it has, holy moly god. It's honestly one of those cars which I don't mind about not doing well in because the drive, it's so fun. It does take a while to get used to, especially in perf. But oh, look at that entry. Look, at, look how well that entry was. Oh, the front is absolutely battered, but I don't even care. You can really tell the difference um, with the handling model in the crew now. Um, it's a lot less buckly. It still does buckle. Oh, yeah, it still does buckle. Don't get me wrong, but it's no way near as bad as it was before. Before, oh my god, the game was just buckle simulator 2014. Okay, we're gonna go past this corner and just completely just bomb it now. So, nos, let's see what we can go to on this straight. See if we can break 200. We broke 200. Yes, we have. 202, 204. Okay, now we need a break about here. Coming sideways. That wasn't not that wasn't good. That was not good at all. I can't wait to see this game at night in the city areas. It's gonna look so goddamn nice. It's just gonna be unreal. Um, I find games do look the best when it's raining at night for some reason. Not quite sure why. But that's just something I found recently in racing games and just games in general. But anyway, as you can see. We haven't finished in an awful lot of uh, in, 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 a, in a good place here. Um, kind of, kind of basically last because I don't know where the other guy is, but um, I don't even care. Just look at that drift. It's it's so fun just to slide round. <laughs> now, one thing I want to do. With that being said, is I want to take it to a mountain and I want to drift down a mountain because if it's good right now and we're kind of on a bit of a circuit, I want to see what it's like down a slidey mountain. Now, we're going to go ahead and see what part we've won. We've won a colour part, which again, is new to this update. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and see what this thing can do on the downhill. I find the uphill, it's a bit of a struggle because you're kind of finding power, but on the downhill drifts, it's pretty mad. Oh, that wasn't, that was awful. That was awful. Shit, we're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. No, no, no. Just, yeah, other way around, other way around. 
Now, whether you like the crew or not, like, just look at that view. Now, it does go a bit low res the further you look, but just... Compared to what it was before, holy Jesus, Jesus Christ, it looks just phenomenal. It really, really does. Oh my god, I want to take that. I just saw that in the corner of my eye. Look at that. Look how steep that is. That's so steep. Okay, we're going to take that. See how it goes. Oh, it's jumped. That's pretty cool. That was a pretty steep corner. Okay, we're going to see if we can go on the uphill then, I guess. I kind of wanted to do the downhill, but... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and see what this is like here. Again, very, very steep upclines. We're going to see if we can drift it in the... Oh, my God. Frame drops. Oh, my God. I've got to say, if you do have um, the crew and you've got, you know, some spare Munmuns and you haven't bought an RX-7 yet, <laughs> because that thing's like a half a million, that will literally drain your bank account. But if you're still yet to buy a car, I'm not doing it justice. I'm, I'm honestly not that good at drifting in this game. Um... But, you know, if you do, you know, want to go ahead and just, just go for Just get this car. Just just get this car. It is such a fun car just to slide around. It's only in perf spec as well. I don't know. I just don't have words. Like, my computer's not really doing well. Uh, it, it's dipping to, like, 40 frames. You know, my, my, my skills aren't amazing. But, oh, my Lord, this thing looks clean. And I think... We did a pretty good job of recreating the Fugu Z and just the, the overall vibe that the Fugu Z sends is just have fun while you're driving. Build something that you like and I think that's really personified well with the car. Like, it is really fun just to drive around. Like, the crew is one of those games where you can literally just go on and just drive around aimlessly and you're bound to find somewhere new whilst you're playing. And that's the beauty about the crew. It's... You can do whatever you want, and there's always going to be a new area. Oh, crashed. There's going to be always going to be a new area, or just something new to do. And I just that's why I'm still playing the crew to this day. Yeah, the history with this game, um, it's been very up and down, but I'm glad they've sorted their shit with this expansion because it saved the game. It really, really has. I mean, oh, look at that slide. Look at that slide. Look at the rain on the floor. It looks beautiful. Um, for those who don't know, I am playing on PC um, at high settings, and it's still dropping for some reason. But, um, man, just just, just look at it. Okay, we're going to get one big last slide before we end this video. Coming into this corner, oh, it wasn't really big, but that's a slide, and we didn't crash. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe, and peace.